Hey YouTube, how is it going today? In this video, I'm gonna be doing an update on 88 Energy Limited. They're out with some favorable news today and the stock is responding well to it. So I wanna get into that news and then go over the chart and see if we can determine what could be coming next. And then after that, I'm gonna get into some of your questions. Now, if you're new to my channel, I've been trading and investing for over 20 years, and in every video, I'll show you some of the potential trades and investments that I see setting up. So if that's something that interests you, please consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss any future trading or investing ideas. And I also have a Patreon group, so if you would like to be a part of our community and see what we are buying and selling in real time, that link is in the description. All right, well, I'm gonna start off with this news and there's actually a lot in this news article. So I'm gonna link it in the description in case you guys wanna read it for yourselves. But it starts off by saying that 88 Energy updated the market on operations on the state's North Slope on Tuesday, reporting that sidewall cores, mud gas, and fluid samples taken from the Merlin 1 were now being tested to determine oil saturation, oil typing, PVT characteristics, permeability, and rock mechanics. It said core photography and geological description was expected to take up to three weeks with isotope analysis of mud gas to take up to four weeks and the volatiles analysis service on cutting to also last up to four weeks. The article also goes on to say that during the drilling of Merlin 1, 88 Energy said several prospective zones were encountered that were previously unmapped. Those zones exhibited good shows with potential for pay subject to the testing results. An initial mapping exercise indicated that the zones could be of similar magnitude in terms of volumetric range as the originally targeted primary zones with further work required to confirm that, though the board described the early work as encouraging. Well, all right, guys, you know, I thought that article was pretty uh, decent news, the entire thing. I didn't read it all, but again, I will link it down there in the description if you want to read the whole thing and dissect all that information. Um, I just want to get into the chart now so the video doesn't take too long. But before I get started, if I could ask you for a favor, if you could hit the like button for me for help with the YouTube algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. And of course, as always, I am not a financial advisor. All of this is just my opinion. Please do all of your own research before buying any stocks you see on my videos. But that being said, let's get into this. Um, my last video was probably I stopped right around here when it was around the 50 period simple moving average. And what I said in that last video after this big gap down, what you want to do is see this stock go sideways for several weeks to several months and not take out this low that it made on the gap down. And that's exactly what is happening so far. So that is very encouraging as far as the chart goes as well. And now we got some momentum starting to build up. We got three green days in a row. Let's see if I can zoom in a little better here. And we actually have a pretty decent up day happening today on some better than average volume. So this thing was being accumulated this whole time and it could be setting up for a run that could potentially be filling this gap and then some. So this is exactly what you wanted to see. This is that first step of that foundation you want laid out for a stock to potentially recover after a huge move down. Now, I know, unfortunately, a lot of you guys... Um, got trapped in this stock as it was running up. Probably a lot of you are still holding on to it, but I just think that this is pretty encouraging news and the chart looks pretty bullish in the short term. So I think uh, things are looking much better as far as 88 Energy Limited is concerned. And actually, let's go to the uh, 15 minute chart and take a closer look at today's price action and of course of the last couple of days. But if we zoom out, we can see that it started to make this bottom and started to round up a little bit. And then you had that decent move up on the 26, went sideways, which is exactly what you want to see. You want to see that consolidation at the higher levels and then another jump up. And that is what we are having right now. So I don't know how high this move is going to go, but you needed that first step to be completed, which is a sideways move. I would personally have liked to have seen it go farther, but if there's news that's going to be coming out, um, if you got a good catalyst like that, you don't need the thing to go sideways for an extended period of time. But I have just noticed with these lower priced penny stocks, and especially these ones that are super low priced, um, the, the further it goes sideways, the better for the stock in the future. 
But like I said, if that news is coming out right now, then it's coming out right now, and that could be the catalyst that sends this thing back up. But after this huge gap down, after the, that well results news came out, you know, if everybody was going to be bailing on the stock, you would expected I would have expected more of a fade down. But you actually got some sideways consolidation, and now you got that next step. I don't know if this thing is going to take off, but you need this step first before it does. So I think if you guys are still holding on to some of this stock, um, I think this price action is very encouraging. And um, I think EEENF could be starting its run real soon. You know, it could pull back a little bit and then start to go, or this thing could just explode if uh, news comes out pretty quickly. Now, they did say that it's going to take several weeks for this news to come out, so... Um, <laughs> It could take a few more weeks, and that would be just fine. You know, if I was sitting in the stock, and just as long as this thing keeps going sideways, maybe drifting up, that is great news and great momentum that could potentially send this thing back screaming up. All right, so now let me get into some of your questions. The first question is from Buddy Floors, and he's asking about Neptune Technologies and Bioresources and you know looking at this chart the chart does not look all that favorable at least in the short term and with these charts you know you, you can't tell what's going to be happening too far into the future but it can give you a pretty good idea where price could be going in the near term but i actually did take a look at this company a little bit on seeking alpha and they are in a health and wellness company and they actually have some pretty decent revenue growth uh, in their future, the projected revenue growth that is. So I see where you are going with this one, buddy. Um, you know, I don't know if you're in this stock yet or if you're just thinking about buying it. But if you are in this stock, it looks like it could finally be bottoming out. I mean, it probably had a, you know, when I had this big uh, jump up here is probably when you got interested. In it. I'm just guessing. I don't know when you got interested in it, but uh, that's usually when people tend to get interested in these stocks has been pulling back ever since that huge run up, but it looks like this uh, downtrend is starting to go sideways a little bit. So it's starting to bottom out. Now, you don't know where this thing is going to bottom out yet. Uh, during the pandemic lows, it bottomed out right around a dollar or so. So it's getting pretty close to that. But with the uh, projected future revenue growth that is uh, ahead of this company, I mean, if you're thinking about buying it, you know, it's probably getting pretty close to a decent buy level. If you are still in this stock and uh, say you bought it during this big run up here and it's been, uh, you know, kind of tapering off and you're wondering if you should be holding it or not. You know, if you've ridden it this far down, you might as well hold it. At least I would just because, um, you know, you already you don't want to be selling at the bottom. And especially with a company has this much potential growth in the future, um, you might just want to just lock it away in the portfolio and uh, not check on it for a couple of years because you could be pleasantly surprised. But uh, NEPT, as far as the short term goes, I could definitely see this probably trending down a little bit more. Um, probably going sideways after that and then, you know, maybe starting an uptrend after a couple of quarters. It might take that long. But just judging by this chart, once you see a formation like this, it usually has to go sideways for a little while before, you know, you get a pretty decent uh, sustainable uptrend. But uh, any PT, if you're in it, you know, I, I personally would hold if you're thinking about buying it. I would uh, wait a little bit and see if it gets near uh, closer to a dollar before I started the position. But, you know, it's not a bad looking company from what I've seen so far. I'm going to have to look a little bit deeper into it. Uh, the next one I wanted to look at, actually, buddy, you asked me about AREC as well. So American Resources Corporation, this one is pulling back down from $8, and this one had a nice run as well. See, see, this is what I see in a lot of stocks where they kind of jump on my radar. They have a big up day like this, and then I kind of wait for them to uh, taper off and then go sideways. And then once they jump above those moving averages, that's when I like to get involved because, um, you know, before this big run-up comes, you know, like what I was talking about kind of with uh, EEENF, before that big run-up comes, you know, you got to get that jump up before that uh, or over those moving averages and then uh you know you get the potential of having this huge run but there's no need to be buying these stocks um until they kind of jump over these moving averages because you never know how far they're going to go sideways i mean they could just fade off into the abyss so there's no reason to put hard-earned money to work in some of these lower price stocks until you know they prove that they could get going and this is that formation that i look for right here but anyway um 
I'm guessing that you're probably in the stock and you've been uh, kind of <laughs> writing it down. That's usually that's usually uh, when people ask me about stocks, you know, when they're thinking about getting rid of it. So I am just guessing here, buddy. I don't know how, how long you've been in this one. But you're probably wondering, is it close to a bottom or not? And, you know, I think it's getting close to this 200 period simple moving average. But I also did give this one a quick look on Seeking Alpha. And this one has some pretty decent projected revenue growth in the future as well. So I think you picked a couple of uh, decent looking stocks as far as future revenue growth goes. I mean, they are in pullbacks right now. So, I mean, if you want to be investing for the future and taking a shot on a company that could be growing big in the future, um, this is when you want to be buying them because uh, you don't want to be chasing them when they're going up. You want to be buying them on those nice pullbacks. So I see what you're thinking with this one as well. Um, I would probably wait for this 200 period simple moving averages uh, for price to pull back to that uh, yellow line on the chart, that 200 period simple moving average, just because um, the stocks tend to find a lot of support there. And it's so close right now. I, I would probably guess um, it has a better chance of hitting that before it ends up hitting this 50 period simple moving average, just as a guess, because it is in that downtrend and you got to respect that current trend. But buying around this 200 probably wouldn't be a bad spot to uh, be initiating a position if you haven't bought any yet, because um, I would have to look deeper into the company. But at first glance, it looks like it has some pretty decent potential in the future. All right, the next question was from Silver New Jack, and he was asking about TLSS. TLSS, this is a very low price stock. It's about two and a half cents at the moment. Man, and if I back the chart out again, you know, this is just another perfect example. Get the big run up where it finally starts up, and then it starts fading back going sideways and then jumps above those moving averages so this is exactly when i like to enter the stock because this gives you the best opportunity for that huge uh, explosion up and once it jumps above those moving average that that white line that i have on the chart which is the eight period exponential moving average once it jumps above that and continues to hold it um sometimes it could be off to the races and you could have a big gainer on your hands now, this one is starting to fade back, so you're going to have to look for another pattern like this, most likely before it takes off again. So it's already got most of that played out. All we need to do is have it go sideways for a little while and then jump back above those moving averages. I mean, this pattern happens over and over and over again, guys. So this is what you want to look for. Um, you don't want to be chasing up here if you can help it. I know a lot of us get FOMO'd into that. But if you want to enter a stock where there's the least risk available and the most upside potential, you want to be buying when it pulls back and uh, starts going sideways and then proves itself by breaking above those moving averages. Now, this one, it looks like it's about halfway there potentially. What you want to see on this one is for it to go sideways Make sure it finds a bottom. You don't want it to break this low. Um, you want it to continue sideways and then jump above those moving averages. But uh, as far as TLSS goes, uh, I would say it's probably about halfway through that pattern potentially. I mean, of course, it could make a new low. But if this is the uh, going to be the bottom in this pattern, then it's probably about halfway there. So um, if you've been in the stock for a while and you've ridden it all the way down, I guess I would just sit on it, and if you don't own the stock right now, I would wait for that type of pattern to play out. Wait for it to go sideways, and then jump above those moving averages and holding before you put some you know, hard-earned capital to work. All right, guys, well, that's all I have for this video, so I'm going to end it right there. But if you have any questions about any of these stocks, or if you have any other stocks you want me to take a look at, please leave them down there in the comment section. I will get to them as soon as I can. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching my video all the way to the end, guys. And until next time, take care.